Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video, we looked at enthalpy cycles when we're given standard enthalpy change of combustion data. If you haven't watched that video, then I'd recommend that you watch it now. In this video, I'm going to give you two questions to try yourself. I'm showing you the equation here for the formation of the hydrocarbon butane. I'm also giving you the standard enthalpy changes of combustion of carbon, hydrogen and butane. I'd like you to use the data to calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation of butane. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, as we've seen before, we can carry out complete combustion of the carbon and the hydrogen, and we form the products carbon dioxide and water. We can also combust the butane, forming the same products. Now we write in the standard enthalpy change of combustion data. Remember that we need to correct for the number of moles that we're combusting. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of carbon is minus 394 kilojoules per mole. We've got four moles, giving us a value of minus 1576 kilojoules. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen is minus 286 kilojoules per mole. We've got five moles, giving us a value of minus 1430 kilojoules. And lastly, the standard enthalpy change of combustion of butane is minus 2,877 kilojoules per mole. OK, next we need to look at the direction of the arrows. We're trying to calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation of butane. In other words, we're going from carbon and hydrogen to butane. This means that the arrow on the left-hand side of the cycle is pointing in the correct direction. However, the arrow on the right-hand side is pointing in the wrong direction. So this means that we need to reverse the sign on the value of the standard enthalpy change of combustion of butane. The total enthalpy change of combustion on the left-hand side is minus 3006 kilojoules. On the right-hand side, we need to reverse the sign, giving us a value of plus 2877 kilojoules. To calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation of butane, we simply add the numbers from the left and right-hand sides. This gives us a final answer of minus 129 kilojoules per mole. OK, here's another question for you. This shows the formation of methanol from its elements. I've given you the standard enthalpy change of combustion data that you need. I'd like you to use the data to calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation of methanol. Now, just one point before you begin. You'll notice that I've not given you the standard enthalpy change of combustion value for oxygen. That's because you cannot combust oxygen. You use oxygen to combust other chemicals. So you'll never be given the value for the standard enthalpy change of combustion of oxygen. OK, so pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we need to write in the values for the standard enthalpy changes of combustion. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of carbon is minus 394 kilojoules per mole. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen is minus 286 kilojoules per mole. We've got two moles of hydrogen, so the total is minus 572 kilojoules. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of methanol is minus 726 kilojoules per mole. Next, we need to consider the direction of the arrows. We're going from the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen on the left to the methanol on the right. This means that the arrow on the left-hand side of the cycle is pointing in the correct direction. However, the arrow on the right-hand side is pointing in the wrong direction. So this means that we need to reverse the sign on the value of the standard enthalpy change of combustion of methanol. The total enthalpy change of combustion on the left-hand side is minus 966 kilojoules. On the right-hand side, we need to reverse the sign, giving us a value of plus 726 kilojoules. To calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation of methanol, we simply add the numbers from the left and right hand sides. This gives us a final answer of minus 240 kilojoules per mole. 